Hello friends. So uh, in yet another session of calculation techniques, we are today going to discuss squaring a number with five at its units place. So while doing lots of physics, numericals, or any other mathematical calculation, you always end up find you know uh, uh, in a position where you have to find out let us say twenty five squared. So if you see, twenty five is you know the units place is five, right? It is ending with five. This is the units place. Now, if such numbers are there, then how do we find out the square very quickly? So the technique is very simple. What you need to do is, if there is a number ending with a five at its unit place, then the last two two digits of the square number will definitely be twenty five. So you plain and simple, right? Twenty five, right? And for the other other digits, what you need to do is, this is two, right? So hence, you have what you have to do is, you have to multiply two. With two plus one, that is three. So you'll get six, isn't it? Now twenty-five square will be nothing but six twenty-five. Okay. Let us take another example. Let us say we have to uh, find out thirty-five square. So what will be the answer? So the last two digits will be twenty-five, and for the other digits, you need to simply multiply three with three plus one, which is three into four, which is twelve. Right. So the other two digits will be twelve. And hence the square of thirty-five is twelve twenty-five. Okay. Let us take another example. Let us say I have to find out fifty-five square. So how what to do? You now know. So twenty-five will be the last two digits, and five will be multiplied by its next number. That is five plus one, which is six. So answer is three zero thirty. So and just affix this thirty here. So the square of fifty-five is three zero two five. Another one. Let us say I have to find out one one five square. So again, do the same thing. Twenty five will be the last two digits, and here what is left? Eleven, right? So eleven into eleven plus one. That is eleven into twelve, which is nothing but one thirty two. So the square will be one thirty two two five. So take any you know random uh, number which is ending with five. Yes, it will be difficult for you to calculate. Let us say. One zero two five square because then you have to multiply and you must be very you know quick in multiplying one zero two and one zero three. If you are able to do this, which will anyways uh, uh, teach you in some other session, then even one zero two five square is not that difficult to find out. I hope you learn this technique. The better idea is to you know take some random numbers, two digit and three digit, ending with five and square it, and then see whether it matches with the real right answer. Thank you.